Hey guys, so <clears throat> feeling really crappy this morning. Uh, literally, the first thing I had to do this morning was get out of bed and have a shower um, because I had a pretty bad night last night. Um, I woke up quite early this morning with my heart was like going weird, it was palpitating really fast and erratically and I was feeling really nauseous and I was literally drenched in sweat when I say drenched my hair was soaked as if I'd literally just stepped out of the shower my pyjamas soaked my bedding soaked so I'm not sure what happened last night but like yeah I think something is going on here but um, which is annoying because recently I had, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had my heart scans, um, and then I was supposed to have a video appointment with this heart specialist last week, I think, and I totally forgot about it. I think it was a few days ago, actually. I totally forgot about it because I got hyper focused on sorting out my book um which my book is now available again on Lulu publishing so if you're interested go check that out um I'll put the link for it below this video um but the link is also available on my Facebook page um so you can find it there um yeah so but the good thing is because i forgot about the video appointment with the spe heart specialist one of the team rang me um and i was like oh no i'm sorry i forgot i've been working on my book and totally forgot and they were like oh that's fine you know um, and they just asked me a few questions and they had a worry about my, I believe they said it was the right side of my heart is there's something un unusual there and they want to do more scans and tests. Um, they want to take me in and put me in a CT scanner because I had the scans I had a couple of weeks ago were echocardiograms and uh, ultrasound to check out my heart and and um, there he he explained it to me and I just can't remember what he said now but something to do with those scans because they're they're people based user based so the person using it takes the measurements. Um, so one person may take the measurements and then another person will take measurements but those measurements will be different. Um, so the, the ultrasound and the echocardiogram isn't always totally accurate. So that's what's happened there. So they want to just take me in and put me in the big CT scanner because they'll get a more accurate uh, measurement and they'll get more accurate pictures of what's going on um, so there's something wrong with the right side of my heart now it, it's not pumping properly or the blood's not getting around it properly or something um, so yeah <laughs> I mean last time I think it was during lockdown and all I was having issues with my heart and I had scans and everything and they found it was the left side that wasn't beating properly so they put me on a load of new meds and the meds have calmed that down um, and now that's looking better um, obviously if I stop taking the meds it'll go back to how it was before you know it won't be pumping properly again so I need to take the meds for the rest of my life now um to make sure that I don't 
have some kind of cardiac arrest and die, you know. Um, but yeah, so now it's the right side of my heart that's, that's throwing a tantrum. So I've, hopefully it isn't anything serious. Hopefully it is just the fact that it's some sort of human error or machine error where the measurements have been taken incorrectly or, or something like that. And hopefully the CT scan will show that up and everything will be fine. Um, but yeah, like, um, I've been trying not to think about it because when I think about it, it does make me feel anxious and makes me worry a lot, which then causes my heart rate and my blood pressure to go up, which doesn't help help the situation with my heart at the moment so I'm trying to stay calm and trying to distract myself but I guess last night may have been an anxiety thing because I've been bottling up the worry and pushing it back and trying to ignore it obviously my subconscious mind during sleep as yeah I had a bit of a freak out last night maybe and caused a bit of an anxiety attack maybe um during my sleep yeah. i even have anxiety attacks in my sleep now brilliant um yeah so today i feel absolutely awful i'm i'm fatigued like really fatigued um I was like shaking when I got out of bed, like I'm still shaking a bit now and feel a bit like weak and stuff and it probably doesn't help as well that I've not been eating properly the past week or two. I've been trying, I mean yesterday I cooked a nice roast dinner and I was starving and I was looking forward to this roast dinner all day and I hadn't eaten anything all day apart from a packet of crisps or two, you know. Um, and I was looking forward to the roast dinner. Um, but then I sat down and I was eating it and I was enjoying it. It was cooked beautifully. Nothing wrong with it. But all of a sudden my brain went, no, nah, we're not hungry now. We don't want to eat this now. So then I sat there for a few minutes just taking a rest a break from the food and I thought I'll go back to it in a few minutes and maybe I'll be able to eat it then and I went back to it tried eating some and was struggling to chew it and struggling to swallow it so I thought now nah, I better stop because if I carried on and tried to force myself to eat it I would have choked or I would have thrown up and yeah that wouldn't have been good so I decided, yeah, I'm going to listen to my body. My body doesn't want to eat it, so I'm going to listen to it. And yeah, so at the moment, the only thing I'm wanting to eat that I can eat is crisps and occasionally biscuits um, or cake bars. I have these, I'm not sponsored by this brand, I just enjoy that, them. Um, but I have these, these are really nice. And they're full of like fibre and and protein and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, they help a little bit, but it's not it's not ideal, completely ideal. But it's better than nothing, you know. Um, so yeah. But yeah, this scan for the heart isn't going to be until after Christmas. Um, they said it's not an emergency. We don't have to rush you in in an emergency situation at the moment. We just need to have a look at it and make sure that we get the correct measurements. Um, and if there is something wrong, then all we will most likely need to do is change up your meds a little bit or put you on some more meds to help that um so yeah uh 
and I'm thinking this might be a sign of the heart failure progressing. Um, I don't know, it probably is. There's so much wrong with my heart at the moment. You know, I'm having, I've got issues with my aorta. Um, I've got issues with my valves leaking. Um, I've got issues with the left side of the heart not pumping properly. I've, now I have issues with the right side of the heart not pumping correctly. Like, there's so much going on there. Like, I don't even know how I'm alive right now, to be honest. Um, and to be honest, I think I just need a whole new heart. Just take this one out, throw it in the bin and give me a new one. I wouldn't mind having one of those mechanic, new mechanical robotic heart things. But they're not available in the UK at the moment and they're definitely not available on the NHS. Um, and they're very expensive if you go private, so I can't afford that. Um, so, yeah. But <laughs> it's probably all going to be all right. So I've just got to relax today and focus on hydrating because I am a little bit dehydrated. Even though I've been drinking loads of like fruit juice this is um melon juice watermelon in there and it's really nice um i had that full yesterday and was drinking out of that i was also drinking cans of pop to help with my to help with like sugar levels blood sugar and whatnot um and drinking tea and water and yeah but still I'm dehydrated <laughs> well I feel dehydrated I'm probably not I've got to be careful though because if you drink too much you can make yourself ill so I'm trying to balance everything um but yeah other than that I've had a pretty good couple of weeks to be honest um been working on my book my poetry book like i said i had to revise it because it had my dead name on it so i had to go on there and revise it so i could put my new name on there i also changed the title because i i was like yeah i'm not feeling that title anymore i want to go with something different so it's now called my truth um I've also added some a few more poems to it and I added some of my own photography to the front cover um, which is and it looks pretty cool um, it's probably not perfect because I did have to teach myself how to do PDFs and I had to get quite a bit of help from John to figure out the PDFs and everything like that um, but luckily, the Lulu website, um, they talk you through it all step by step and it's really simple to follow. Um, you know, it was just the PDFs getting the right layout uh, for the PDF and, you know, all that kind of stuff because every page has to be the same layout. Um, and because I was putting several poems in there I had to make sure each poem was in the same format um, like A4 and all this sort of stuff all these measurements and being dyslexic and dyspraxic and having dyscalculia as well numbers confuse me um, so numbers measurements I get confused by all that even telling time i struggle with sometimes if you ask me to read an analog clock good luck i cannot um it has to be digital um for me to understand it um because i get confused with all the numbers and the hands and where the hands are and where they're supposed to be and yeah it's just really confusing for me 
So yeah, I was getting a bit confused with all the PDFs and all the oh, all the jargon and everything. But we got there in the end. Um, and yeah, now my book's available to purchase on Lulu Publishing. Uh, I've got a few copies coming in the post to me. Um, so I'm going to see what that, what it looks like in a few days, hopefully. Um, yeah, and I've been working on my Facebook, trying to get that monetized. Um, and making content on there. Um, yeah. So, I had a pretty productive week, but I guess I burnt myself out doing all the work because literally it took all day and I was hyper-focused all day on sat here at the desk working on the computer to get all these poems in order um, and get all the PDFs done and yeah it took us most of the day um so that wasn't good and during that day I didn't eat anything uh I barely went to the toilet I think I went to the toilet once or twice during that day because I was too hyper focused and when I'm hyper focused I won't break that focus to go to the toilet. I will sit there and I will hold the pee um, until I get extremely uncomfortable. And then I'm like, no, I have to go to the toilet and I have to force myself out of my chair to go to the toilet. Um, and that can be quite dangerous because holding your pee for too long, it causes damage to your bladder. Uh, and you could also get infections and stuff so yeah it's not great um also wasn't drinking anything so ended up really dehydrated and the next day felt really crappy um but yeah so today what i'm gonna do is just relax at the moment I've got it paused at the moment while I'm doing this video, but I'm watching some stuff on YouTube. Um, I've got into the Explorer kind of videos recently, um, and they're, they're quite fun. At the moment I'm watching a guy who's uh, camping out in like some desert somewhere, um, and he's hiking around this desert um, climbing up these cliff faces and showing old ancient abandoned ruins like from like I don't know what Neolithic times I don't know from like back in the day hundreds of years old and they're all built into these cliffs and everything and he's showing that so that's pretty cool um so I'm probably just gonna sit here and binge watch a lot of YouTube today uh, whilst trying to rehydrate and trying to eat something decent rather than just crisps um, but yeah and I think that's what I'm gonna do for the next couple of days is just relax I have been working on learning how to use GarageBand on John's John's laptop. John's got a Mac. I've been learning how to use GarageBand on there to create a track because there's one of my poems, which is in the book now, by the way. Um, one of my poems I'm trying to create a trap music trap to put my poem to and I have no clue what I'm doing I'm not a musician I'm probably tone deaf <laughs> but it's, it's all these on the garage band it's all these loops and stuff I'm using so I'm just scrolling through the loops for ages picking noises that I like and I'm just like I like that noise I'll put that in 
Um, <laughs> so it's probably awful, but I'm having fun doing it. So, and I like learning new things. So yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, but hopefully, if I can get it finished, I can maybe put it to a video for YouTube. I don't know. But this is a project that's probably going to take a while, so it probably won't be uploaded to YouTube or anything anytime soon. But hopefully I can make it half decent. I don't know. Um, but yeah, John's doing well lately. He's bought himself a bass guitar and he's been getting lessons. Um lately so he's done a few lessons and he's picking some stuff up on there um so that's cool in january john is also planning to join a wrestling school because he's absolutely obsessed with wrestling um it's one of his specialist subject as a as a person on the spectrum um, I mean, you wouldn't know, looking at his laptop, you, you literally wouldn't know that he was a wrestling fan. You know, you've got <laughs> Mick Foley, Mick Foley stickers, Smackdown stickers. Uh, he's got loads of wrestling stickers on there, um, as well as anime. Oh, I think that's a wrestling sticker in that DX. Um, yeah. So, he's joining a wrestling school in January, so he can train to be a wrestler. Um, he's probably not going to be like in WWE or anything like that, but, you know, it's something for him to do a hobby, something he enjoys. He enjoys watching wrestling. He used to wrestle with one of his friends when he was younger. Um so yeah he's going there and i think he he wants to become a writer storyline writer um or something like that in the wrestling business because i think to be honest he'd be really good at that um because he's got a really good imagination and when we're watching wrestling together he knows what's going to happen before it happens. He's telling me the storylines before they happen. And then I'm like, right, okay. And we watch it and it happens. I'm like, oh my God, how did you know that? And he was like, oh, well, it's simple. And he goes into all the politics of wrestling and, and whatnot. And half the time, I don't even know what he's on about. But he's got a good handle on that. And it, so I reckon he'd be... A really good writer or manager or something like that in the res wrestling business so yeah he's going after Christmas in January to join a wrestling school hopefully so that'll be fun um, because he does need to do stuff for himself because most of the time he's sat here looking out for me and you know I, when I'm sat here on my own at home I don't really need a lot of help yeah okay I need help with some housework which John does help me with but if he goes out for a few hours I'm fine on my own so I say to him look go out you need to go out but he's like no I don't want to go out because then I'll leave you on on your own and then I'll worry about you I'm like, you don't need to worry about me. I'm just going to be sat here watching Netflix, stuffing my face with crisps. You know, <laughs> it's, you don't need to worry about me. Don't put your life on hold because you're worried about me all the time. So basically now he's actually decided, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll go. I'll go to the wrestling school. I'll go learn bass because that's something he's been on about for years. And I've been keeping on at him. If you want to do it, go buy a guitar and do it. And he's like, oh, but what if we need the money for the bills? And I'm like, we can save up for a guitar. If that's what you want, we will save up and buy you a bass guitar. 
you just have to pick one out that you want and we'll save up for it and that's what we did and he's got he's got the bass a nice little bass guitar now and he's getting his lessons so i'm proud of him for actually taking those steps because it was really hard for him because when he goes out without me he worries a lot he you know he has anxiety about leaving me because he worries that when he comes back what if something's happened to me um you know um because he struggles with death anxiety and stuff and obviously because of all the issues with my heart and the fact that I nearly died from it in 2013 and I had to have the emergency open heart surgery and everything that weighed on his, his mind as well so now he's like literally scared he's going to lose me if he leaves me for five minutes to go do something for himself you know so lately I've been on it and I've been like no I'm not letting you I'm putting my foot down I'm not letting you put your life on hold for me anymore so you're gonna go and do these things you want to do um what not um so yeah i'm proud of him for taking them steps he's also taking still taking his medication for his mental health and that's been helping him a lot i think um he seems to be more clearer mind wise like me i'm taking mine now as well and my mind seems more clear and my mood is better and same with john so our mental health isn't clashing as much as it used to um because we went for years with mental health issues but we weren't getting any help or support with it so now we're getting support with it and we're getting medication for it things are working a lot better so yeah we're, we're doing good we still have our down days obviously um you know but we we get we're getting through those down days quicker and easier with the help of the medication and therapy and stuff you know so yeah I am absolutely exhausted like I said I think I slept quite well last night to be honest I have been sleeping really well lately um, but I've been waking up at like five o'clock in the morning for some reason and I think it's to do with the daylight savings thing because the clocks went, what did they do? They went back or forward or something recently. Um, yeah, and every time that happens, every time the clocks go back or forward, it messes up my sleep patterns. I end up waking up earlier than I should. And then, have, then because of that, I have to go to bed earlier than I should because I get extremely fatigued. So I'm waking up at five in the morning and by five, six o'clock at night, I am absolutely knackered and I want to go to bed. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit annoying. I'm pretty sure I did get good sleep last night, but I'm still exhausted. I think it's because of all this heart issue it exhausted me. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop gabbing now. Um, but yeah, not much going on at the moment. I'm just going to sit and watch YouTube. Um, i try and eat some food. But thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you later.